Today we are hosting a thought leadership dialogue that is part of our social transformation program and it's part of our creating a culture of inclusion pathway. Part of the challenge and part of the work that we have to do is to understand our own biases and to understand a broader perspective and a broader lens to look at these issues. We cannot afford not to be part of these discussions because this is what's going to create the world that we all want to see. Curiosity, she defines curiosity as a generosity of interpretation, which I think is such a beautiful term, a generosity of interpretation, right? And, and, and we don't have enough of that um, especially in our workplaces. It was important to be part of this event um, because I think the NBI is quite a critical body in bringing both business and society together, um, especially when it comes to questions around inequity and differences and all those challenges that they pose for the workplace. 25 years later, when you look at the progress of PESCO cut, it tells you that the short-sightedness of the political space that we still see today, that imprisons us in, in a scorecard. If we don't understand the issues of inclusivity, it means as an organization, we're not actually relevant to where we are operating. We're trying to give kind of practical experience so people who are in the space and they're doing the work and they have real challenges and they're finding solutions to it. But what we also try and do is try and bring in different perspectives. More of my colleagues have a better sense of who they, they are and can be at work. We can all talk about bias and, and, and inclusion and exclusion, but really it's fueled by our own bias, so we'll come at our own angle. So that's really but more scientific and we love scientific discovery. Anything with numbers and stats we can do brilliant things with. Something that I, I realized is how diverse the language is around transformation. That's something which was uh, expanded me a bit. Sometimes also how narrow we can be around transformation. Within the private sector, within business, people are talking about the same things and sometimes it's useful to bring in new voices and people who think about things very differently. Inclusion for me was that first step that I had included myself. Yeah. I had forced myself to be on the table and I had demanded the attention. There's even more to go, you know, uh, LGBTI and, and obviously the other thing is, is the neurodiversity which is, which is fascinating as well. I think platforms like this are important for us to be able to openly discuss the different forms of inclusion, what we mean by diversity and starting to dissect and really honestly speak about concepts that can be at a very intellectual level and start to make them real. In the space of transformation we've obviously got a lot to learn from each other and if we spend time <coughs> debating, working out challenges, well, sometimes we realize we've all got the same problems and sometimes we also learn that somebody else has done it a different way and we can grow through that experience. People tend to underestimate how important conversation is and I can understand why because in South Africa we, we think we talk a lot but a lot of the times we're talking past each other um, so that's a lot of conversation that goes wasted. Today I think we really heard each other. I think today's conversation allowed us to hear, to understand, to process, to challenge, to engage. Um, and, and, and in that sense, I think conversation became action, you know, in today's conversation. But when you actually go to the depots, and Anglo is the same, right? They sit in town, in the CBD, that's where their offices for South Africa are. When you go to the actual mines, are the same conversations happening? Are the same changes in behavior happening? Is the same transformation happening? Are people having the same kinds of discussions, the same kinds of mind shifts that we're trying to make happen in the larger CBD sentence, is that happening? And so whilst Kanye has the opportunities and the energy and the attitude that says you ain't gonna stop me, there are many who look up to us and it's about that journey that I can create in order to create those access for opportunity. So I think the dialogue was a success in that we created a space for very open, honest conversation. The challenge is how this gets implemented into people's workspaces or into their daily lives. I think people were very candid in how they talked about these issues and when it comes to issues of social transformation, it's hugely important that people feel that they're able to share their ideas and they understand that we're all aiming to achieve the same thing. Thank you.